Hello. Uh, let me just check and make sure this is working. Hello. Yes. Okay. We can turn the volume down. Um, hopefully the music isn't too loud. I turned it to like 20. But I watched Markiplier play this, and it looked fun, so let's see how we do. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions, and provided that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Would you be alright with living alone forever? I mean, in a way, I kind of already do. Um, I don't leave my house. I don't have people that I interact with in the real world it's just people online i don't know if living alone forever counts online like do you does it mean like living alone forever like you can't talk to anyone online too is it like a zombie situation i'm gonna say yes because i've always done better without people than I have with people because people are fucking assholes and they terrify me. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Yes, blue is my favorite color. If you found money on the street and you knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? I would because I would be too afraid that I would be caught. So yes. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? No. No. Are you a f Yes. Fuck yes. I hate spiders. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? I mean... If I knew I'd be unscathed, then yeah, it'd be an experience. Would you consider yourself to be fat? Oh, yes. Why are you asking me that? Yes, I'm a fat ass. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? No, not even a little bit. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? Uh, no, I have not. This is all very interesting. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spell the name Satan? No, I did not realize that. Does that make you uncomfortable? 
No, because I actually like Satan. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? No. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Yes. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? Not really. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for, dis for answering dishonestly? No, I did not. But I do now. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? Yes. Would you consider yourself captivated? Yes. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? I am the biggest chicken shit on the planet. I'm fully blaming my anxiety for this because I used to be like nothing scared me at all. Like nothing. I was I I would face anything head on. But as I got older and my anxiety got worse, I'm literally afraid of everything. Like the smallest little shit just scares the fuck out of me now. So no, I'm not brave even though I wish I was. Do you view yourself as someone with above ab- No, I'm a dumbass. Have you been looking for- I forgot. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No, because I kind of forgot. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? Yes. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in the session? No. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Um, no, I, I don't, I don't like waiting. Yes, humans annoy the fuck out of me. Humans are the worst invention, the worst creation, whatever you want to call them. They are the worst thing. They fight just because they want to fight. They have no reason to fight. They just, they're so bored. They just want to fight over everything. They're assholes. They're selfish. No, I hate humans. Do you prefer animals? Yes, yes I do. Animals are no nonsense. Like, when an animal fights, it's either to protect themselves or their family or their territory or to get food. They don't fight just for the fuck of it. And they also don't go around raping people either. So it's like, yes, I prefer animals, thanks. Do you believe in magic? Yeah, I, I would like to believe that magic does exist. We just haven't discovered it. Do you believe in God? I do not believe in God. If God exists, big if, then he's the biggest asshole because he sits up on his throne and literally watches the people that he created suffer and die and fucking get all these diseases and rape and murder and pillage and he does nothing he literally does nothing but sit there and laugh and eat popcorn while watching it so if he exists he's a dick but i don't think he exists no do you fear death oh this is a tough one because i literally fear everything but at the same time because of my anxiety I feel like I've had a deep connection with death all of my life because I'm constantly making jokes about I'd rather be dead or I wish death would come sooner or um, I'm dying, stuff like that. And I mean, it's hard not to fear it because it's unknown. You don't know what it is. You don't know what's on the other side. It's a really tough question, but... I fear everything, so I'm just gonna say yes. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Are you alone? Uh, no, I am surrounded by like a million cats who are driving me crazy. So no, I'm not alone. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? No, because you're a video game and I don't get any viewers on my streams. 
So I know nobody's watching me. So no. Have you wondered who I am? Um, I have it. I would like to know who you are, but that didn't actually cross my mind. Have you had shivers at any point during the session? No. Do you feel like you're being watched? I do not. Have you considered quitting the session early? I have not. This is actually really fun. Do you drink water every day? Does tea count? Because if you think about it, tea is literally just a giant pitcher of flavored water, right? Does that count? I don't think it counts. I need to drink water every day. But I can't. I, I just, I can't. Every once in a while, I'll get a craving for, like, ice cold water. But it, it's very rare. I, I don't drink water like I should. It's bad. Do you at eat at least once per day, every day? Absolutely. I'm a bitch without food. Do you realize that you missed seven hidden messages thus far? No, I did not realize that. Do you realize that you just fought? No, I did not realize that. Are you wondering what they were? Yes. Would it bother you to know without finding them yourself? It would bother me not to know. Because I'm a very curious person. And when I get like left on a cliffhanger or something isn't explained properly, it bugs me for like a solid like month and a half. So it would bother me never knowing. But finding it out myself wouldn't bother me. I'm perfectly fine with learning it from somebody else, so I'm gonna say no. Is your favorite number seven? No, but it's close. My favorite number is eight. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Yes. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? I mean, they're both fruits, aren't they? That's a comparison. So no, I don't agree. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? I know the morning star because isn't that what Lucifer was called? But I don't think I've ever heard it associated with Venus. So no, I did not know that. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? This question. I don't trust human beings. In real life, I do not trust human beings. I don't, I, when people have fucked me over, I hold a grudge and it takes me years to forgive them if I forgive them. But when I'm watching like dramas, I feel like people deserve second chances. I feel like they earn second chances. But that's the thing. Like, have they earned a second chance? It's, it's not a yes or no question. This isn't a black or white question. It's, it's a gray area question. I don't know what to choose. Because... I would like to say people deserve second chances, but people are assholes, and if they fuck you over once, they're probably gonna fuck you over again. So I'm gonna say no. You can do anything you put your mind to, do you agree? I mean, I tried to put my mind to getting rid of anxiety, but it didn't work. Because it's a mental illness and you can't just snap your fingers and it's gone, you know? But the mind is also a powerful thing. A very, very powerful thing. Whether it's working for you or against you. So, I'm gonna say yes. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No? This reminds me... Okay, so, I started watching this drama, right? It's, um... It's called, uh cool boys only high school or something along those lines and it's literally the most frustrating but heartwarming thing i've ever watched and i'm so i'm so excited that i, I started watching it kind of sad because it's like seven days between each episode but whatever um the point is the principal 
thinks that they should all be perfect. They have to be perfect to be cool boys. They they don't experience jealousy or hatred or bullying or any negative emotions. They're cool boys. That doesn't happen to them. They don't make mistakes. All this shit. And she expects all of them to fall into this box that she created. She wants them to be obedient to her and her rules, which as a principal makes sense. However, as a principal, she does not get to say that you are not allowed to feel these things. You are not allowed to be anything less than perfect. It, it, it's just, it's not right. Freedom is more important than being obedient because what one person thinks is good doesn't mean it's good. Like, one person says something and then all these people gather behind that one person, treating them like they're a god and treating their word as gospel. And it's stupid. People are so afraid to think for themselves, make their own choices, make their own mistakes, that they just decide they want to line up behind someone else because it's easier. No, it's not easier. Freedom is more important than obedience. So do I agree with that statement? No, I do not. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. They really do. I've always wanted, cause like I played Man of Medan, right? And they went, they're, they're all about like diving to find shipwrecks and shit. I think that would be so cool. Go diving for buried treasures. Cause you, there's so much shit under the water that we have yet to discover. Like it's so vast and open and there's so much shit to discover. Like imagine being the first person to discover that. That would be amazing. So yes. Did you realize that the first le first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? I don't think they did, but no, I didn't realize that. Do you wish to be loved? I feel like that's a stupid question. I don't think there's a single person on planet Earth that does not want to be loved to some degree. Whether it's like platonic love with a friend or a family member or to actually fall in love with someone to some degree human beings by nature need to be loved and need to love other people in order to to thrive and to become better people and i think that's the problem with humanity there's so much hatred in the world right now everybody is getting so pissed off and butthurt over the smallest shit they'd it's just it's so much easier to hate people than to love them because to love somebody means you actually have to put in the effort and you have to actually try and it's just it's so much easier to hate than it is to love and that's the problem that's why humanity is just spiraling downward because people would rather take the easier option because i don't know if they're just bored or if they're scared or what but people just prefer hating and causing drama and but at the core i believe at the core of every human being they want to be loved so i'm gonna say yes because I, I i want to be loved do you have any addictions not in the traditional sense like i'm not addicted to drugs or alcohol or any of that but I do like to think I'm addicted to gaming. <laughs> um, I spend hours gaming. Like, I'll start gaming and I'll blink. And then, like, eight hours have passed. And I just haven't moved. I haven't done anything. I've just been playing that one game. Or I'll be watching, like, a drama. And I'll sit there and I'll binge watch it for, like, eight hours. And I'll be like, wait, I've only watched, like, one episode. And then I'll check. And it's been like fucking 20 episodes. And I'm like, shit. So yes, I get addicted to things very easily. When I start something and I fall in love with it, I dive headfirst into it. I throw everything else to the side. I forget anything else exists. And I am just obsessed with that one thing until the next thing grabs me. So yes, I have many addictions. It's a problem. I hate the color pink. I hate it. I don't know why, but it is the worst color, and I hate it. Yes, I dislike the color. Does the color gray? See, 
Most people say that the color gray is depressing, but I don't think it is. Like, for me, I love rainy days. I love when the sun is hidden, the sky is covered with gray clouds, and it's just got this, like, soft glow over the world. Like, the sun is just nowhere to be seen. It's raining. It's, as people would say, dull and gloomy and depressing. I love it. I think the color gray is nice, and I don't think it's depressing at all. I think it's peaceful and relaxing. So, no. Do you enjoy loud music? Um, yeah. Uh, actually, I write my best when I have loud music, like, blaring in my ears. So, I, I often listen to loud music. So, yes, I very much enjoy it. If it's not loud, you're doing it wrong. Do you like to dance? I do not like to dance. Would you consider... No. I wish I was normal, because if I was normal, then I'd be able to talk to another human being without having a complete mental breakdown and feeling like the Grim Reaper is standing behind me laughing his ass off, because I don't know how to human. So, uh, no, I'm not normal. You love your parents. I mean, I have a parent. I don't know who my dad is. I've never met him. I don't know anything about him, but I do. I love my mom. I, I do. Um, even though I don't always act like it. And I love my grandma, who is also like a parent to me. May she rest in peace. So yes, I love my parents. Have you ever been lied to? Fuck yes. That's... I don't think anyone hasn't been lied to. There's, I don't care what you say. There is not a single person on planet Earth that has not told a lie to some degree. Even if it's just like a small, just a little white lie to spare someone's feelings. Oh, does my ass look too big in this? No, honey, you look fine. Yes, your ass is huge. Um, you know what I mean? Like even growing up, the Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus, those are still lies. So, yes, I don't believe there's a single human being that has never told a lie in their entire life. Do you get angry often? Um, <clears throat> not me admitting I have anger issues. Um, yeah, I do. I, I don't know if it's my anxiety. I don't know if it's my depression. I don't know if I'm just an asshole. Um, but, yeah, I do get angry a lot. I do get frustrated a lot, especially um, in the three-week period of my period. Um, I get very emotional. Everything pisses me off. Um, everything frustrates me, and I snap. So yes, I do unfortunately get angry often, but I will admit that I feel, I don't know if it's true, but I feel as if my anger issues have gotten better and I can control it more than when I was younger. So that's a plus, I guess. Do you hold grudge? <laughs> Not me holding a grudge from like eight years ago. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Have you ever forgiven someone? I mean, it depends, honestly. Because most of the people that fucked me over, I don't forgive them. But they also weren't important people in my life. They were people that were passing by, they fucked me over, and then they disappeared. But if it's someone important, like my mom, for instance, or the cat, Colby, leave her alone. If it's someone important, like my mother, we fight constantly because we are basically the same person, so we're constantly butting heads. Uh, we're both assholes. We're both bitches. Um, we're both very opinionated and stubborn. So we're constantly butting heads. We're constantly fighting. Um, she says shit that hurts me. I say shit that hurts her. I've forgiven her for the most part for most of those things. And hopefully she's forgiven me. So yes. Have you ever lied? Again, there's not a single person that has not lied. Yes, I've lied. Many times. Um... See, I feel like most females really like flowers, 
but I've never been a flower person. I honestly prefer trees. I think trees are gorgeous and beautiful, and I think we need more of them and to stop cutting them down. Uh, you can keep your flowers, but uh, I'll, I'll stick with the trees, thanks. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? I am not saying I'm a furry. I'm not, okay? But being an animal would be dope. Like, just imagine you get to become this majestic ass tiger right you get to be a majestic ass tiger just living your life prowling around you don't got to deal with humans you just live your life it, you, just, you it's freeing like or if you're like if you become a bird you can literally just fly away from all of your problems i mean they'll catch you eventually but you can fly away from them again sorry shiro i didn't i didn't mean to hit you in the face i'm sorry i, I got excited Yes, I would love to be an animal. Do you believe you have psychic powers? Uh, no. I mean, I that would be amazing. I could make money off of that. But no, I do not. Have you ever seen a ghost? <sighs> There's been some weird shit in my life, right? I've seen, like... At a corner of my eye, it'll just, it'll, somebody passing by really quick, but there's nothing there. I don't know if that's a ghost. I don't know if I'm hallucinating. I don't know if that counts as a ghost. I don't think I've seen a ghost. So I'm going to say no. Do you dream often? I'm pretty sure I dream every night. Um, I usually don't remember my dreams. Um, sometimes, like, if it's really vivid, I'll remember it. And sometimes, like, if I'm obsessed with something, like, back in the day when i was religiously playing gta uh online i would literally wake up get on gta online play it all fucking day and then go to bed i would occasionally dream about it and i do remember like flashes from the dream but i don't remember most of my dreams and most of them they're insane they're not bad but they're insane um so i'm gonna say yes you have nightmares no i cannot remember no that's a lie i do remember one dream um that could be considered a nightmare from like when i was like i want to say like 15 so something like that uh but often no i can only remember that one instance i have weird dreams but i don't i don't have nightmares you suffer from anxiety attacks yes Yes, yes, I do. I am on medication for them. That's how bad they are. Uh, yes. You suffer from depression. Yes. You exercise off? No. I need to. But it's just getting the motivation to do it. And sticking with it. And not being... Not being demotivated when you see no results. Not having a support system. And... Not being able to leave and go to the gym because, for one, pandemic, and for two, because you're a chicken shit that can't leave the house. It's not easy. I try, but it's not easy. No. Emotionally wounded. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, yes, I would. It sounds right. Um... I'm a very sensitive, very emotional person. I take everything to heart. Like, I watch something, and if they start crying, I cry. I'm a sympathetic crier, like Gus from Psych. And my allergies are fucking up, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna say yes. I'm a very emotional person, and I'm... Mm. Oh, yes, I've... Uh, I felt betrayed many times. Um, do you ever feel lost in life? Every day. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Please help. Would you consider- No, I am not a leader at all. You could push- If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? You have to have a following to get canceled, don't you? 
can you get cancelled if you don't have a following? Because I'm going to get cancelled. Um, I have thought about this many times. Actually, um, I've constantly said we need an apocalypse or a zombie invasion to wipe out humanity and start over. I'm not trying to get all Thanos here, okay? I, I'm not... Uh, it's complicated. It's, it's really complicated. But see, with Thanos, the problem with Thanos, right? He did half the population. He still left half the assholes, right? But if you could just... But it says destroy the world, not humanity. The world is a nice place. The world is beautiful and it's precious. It's the humans that are the problem. The humans destroy everything they touch. So, thinking about it that way. If I could push a button and destroy humanity, I would press it. But if I could push a button and destroy the world, I would not press it because I like the world. I like the nature. I like the animals. I just don't like humanity. So no, I would not press it. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Doesn't everybody though? Like literally all of my daydreams and most of my fix, I'm, I, I'm the person saving people because I'm so weak in real life. I can't do shit and I'm as much as I hate it. I'm the damsel that needs to be saved. I hate it. And I would give anything to be the hero that can save people. So, yes, I very much dream of being a hero. Have you ever been bullied? Many, many times. Have you ever bullied someone else? No. Uh-uh. The thing is, most people say from what I've seen, that you're more likely to be a bully if you've been bullied. Like, if it's happened to you, you're more likely to do it to someone else to make yourself feel better. But I feel... I feel like that's mostly untrue. Because if you've been bullied, you know what it feels like. You know how terrible it is and how far it can push you towards the edge. You know what I mean? So I feel like if you've experienced that, you have enough humanity, humility, whatever it is inside you to not push that onto someone else and make them feel that way. I have never bullied someone and I never will. Because I know what it feels like. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? One million percent yes. Because I am constantly daydreaming putting myself into different worlds from my favorite anime and video games. That's why I'm a writer. Because as a writer, I can take those daydreams and I can put them on paper and it feels a bit more real that way. Like, I know it's not, okay? I know. But it, it makes me feel better. It makes me happy. So, yes, I'm very much a dreamer. You sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally. I feel like most people do. Because it's really hard to be 100% on the same page with other people. Right? And you've got so many different types of people. Like my mom, for example. She's a rock. Not, very few things you say hurt her. Like, you throw something at her, just bounces off her. She just doesn't give a fuck. She does not care about you. But me... You say something to me, it goes straight to my heart. I believe it to be true. And it hurts. Like, even if it's just, like, joking. Like, it was meant as a joke. You didn't mean it. But... <sighs> I hope my internet's not going out again. Hopefully. But, yeah, I feel like it's super easy to unintentionally hurt someone's feelings because humor's different, people are different. You say something that you think is funny, but somebody else finds, like, super offensive. So, yeah, I'm sure I have. Do you find space fast? No. See, I like fantasy, but I've never been big on sci-fi or space. That's why I couldn't get into Star Wars, and my, my friends hate me for it. Um, no, I, I, I don't, I mean, it, I guess it's cool, it's big, there's probably life out there somewhere, but it's just not for me. No, I don't. 
Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Um, a lot of things falls under the art umbrella. I'm not sure if writing is one of them. I feel like it is. Um, I feel like writing is a sub, a, a sub tree of under the umbrella. Like it just kind of curls off to the side somewhere. So I am a writer. I am proud of myself as a writer. So I'm going to say yes. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? Um, no. I disappear a lot. Like, what I was saying earlier about how, like, I dive headfirst into shit. And, um, I get obsessed with it and I kind of forget everything else exists. I, I disappear a lot. And I'll, like, not respond to someone for months. Um, or I'll forget, like, their birthday or forget to check in with them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a good friend. Oh, absolutely. I don't think, again, I don't think there's a single human being on this earth that's not flawed. Like, people are so obsessed with being flawless and being perfect. And it's stupid. It's not going to happen. It doesn't matter what you do. Like, when you try that, your biggest flaw is literally trying to be perfect because it's not going to happen. No one is perfect. No one can be perfect. It's not possible. And I live by the motto of being flossom, which I don't know who made it up. I saw it online somewhere. It basically means you know you have flaws, but you embrace them and you accept them and you love yourself anyway. Still working on the loving yourself part, but you know. So yes, absolutely. No, th th this thing knows what I'm talking about. Perfection does not exist. No. Have you ever stolen? Uh, <laughs> um, FBI, if you could stop listening for a minute, I'd appreciate it. Um, yes. Uh, when I was a child, I was desperate to fit in. So when a bunch of kids went and stole from the teacher's desk, I joined them. And, um, when I was younger, I wanted to fit in. I wanted my brother to actually love me. So, we went to Walmart and I sold glitter pens. So, yes. They were nice glitter pens, though. So. Would you ever kill someone under in the, any circumstances? This is tough. Like, honestly, I feel like I would because of my disdain for humanity like if somebody was hurting somebody else I would have no problem killing that person to help the other person or like if somebody fucked with my mom I would have no problem fucking with them right back or if even worse if I see someone fucking with an animal like hurting a defenseless ass fucking animal you can bet your ass I would kill someone but the problem is with my anxiety I don't think I would be able to unless that anger was so prominent, so high, that it completely overrode all of my anxiety and all of my fears. But I don't know how to answer this because would you? Yes, I would. But I guess could I? No. So I guess I will say yes. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? I almost cried when I listened to Markiplier answer this question. And he made a really good point. Like, if you had one day to live and you told people that, they would spend that entire day just worrying and stressing and being upset. That would be their last day with you. And that's what it would be. Like, imagine how terrible that would be. Like, being with that person, knowing that it's their last day and when that day ends they're dead they're gone and that's all you can think about that entire day you can't enjoy being with that person but at the same time if you know it's their last day you can try to make the most out of it and tell them how much you love them you know so each side has a pro and a con I feel like I would probably tell people because I would be so fucking scared and anxious that I wouldn't be able to handle it and I would have to tell someone. 
So I think I think I would. Have you ever told your dark? What is my darkest secret? Like I feel like most of my darkest secrets I've already told in this video. Um. I can't really think of a dark secret. Like I have secrets, of course. <clears throat> that like. I wouldn't want to tell people, like, my main thing that I wouldn't want to tell, like, people that I know, like, people that I talk to, um, normally online, uh, is, like, self-harm when I was younger, and I still do it occasionally when things get too much, because that's, that's an embarrassing thing to tell someone that you know, that you talk to, and it, it, it there's really no easy way to slip that into a conversation. So unless they ask, I'm not telling them, but I don't consider it to be a dark secret. Like, to me, it's not a dark secret. It's part of me. So I don't think I have any dark secrets to tell. So, no? Do you trust me? Even though you know nothing about me. Sir, I do not even trust myself. So, no. You know who I am. Not a clue. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? I think the only... Because, again, my anxiety makes me... It, like, shoves everything else down. Like, it puts a hand on top of everything else's head and just kind of shoves it down, right? Like a tall person would do to a short person when they're teasing them in a drama. Um, so if something like that happened, I don't think I would scream. I think my anxiety would push that down. Um, the only thing I've ever really screamed at was spiders. Because that is my biggest fear. Uh, above all of my other fears. That's the king fear. Um, the only thing I've ever screamed over is a spider. So, no. Unless you're a spider. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? I mean, I was going to say there's a wall behind me, but there's kind of a hole in that wall, but the hole's stuffed with a shirt because I don't have anything else to put there until uh, we can fix it. I mean, you seem nice enough. I don't know. I don't know how I would react unless it happened, honestly. I mean, I would probably be scared because everything scares me. So I guess I'll say yes. Would you consider yours? Very much so. Like, I don't want to go and say, like, I'm an empath, whatever. But I feel deeply, even for characters that aren't real. Like, I don't know if it's normal or not. But whenever I watch a show, if you cry, I'm crying with you. I feel, I don't feel your pain, but I can... Like, pseudo-pain, I guess. Like, I'm there with you, right? You laugh, I'm laughing with you. You smile, I'm smiling with you. I feel deeply. Like, when I watch shit, I genuinely want the best for the characters. Unless they're dicks. Like, Aizawa Miyabi from Great Teacher Onizuka. Who I want to punch in the face so fucking bad. Because she's a bitch. In every single remake. And I hate her. Um, but yes, I would consider myself empathetic. Would you consider yourself- No. No. What the fuck is romance? Romance is dead. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I don't know if it counts as a fight. Me and my brother got into it a few years back. We were arguing. Uh, he threw his tea in my face, and he shoved me into the bricks cut my hand open um i i tried I, I i like i went at him um i don't think i don't know if that counts as a fight though because it was kind of one hit ko um i'm gonna say no are you prone to headache i get headaches a lot i don't know i think it's like sinus i have a lot of sinus issues mm -hmm. uh, probably the the loud music i listen to a lot 
But, uh, yeah. Do you look at the ground? Yes. My anxiety, as much as I want to look up at the beautiful sky when the sun's gone, and the beautiful nature, I can't because of human beings. I cannot stand to look at human beings. I, I feel like everyone's looking at me, even though they're probably not. I can't help it. I cannot look at them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to see them looking at me. I always look at the ground when I walk. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Would you ever shave your head? I actually have before. Well, I didn't technically shave it because I don't have clippers. But one day, it was like super fucking hot because it's fucking Florida. Um, I got tired of it, so I just like, well, what if I just cut my hair off? And I just took scissors and I just cut all of it off. And ever since then, I've kept my hair short. Um, but I didn't shave it because we don't have a shaver. So, no. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Um. Uh. Eh, it depends. Because, like, if it's just, like, a normal in-shape muscular body, like, hey, I go to the gym, like, twice a week. Um. That kind of thing. Um. Eh, it's alright. Um. But if you're talking, like, bodybuilder levels like that shit's insane i'm not attracted to that but i personally prefer like like i don't i don't really care about mu muscles um i'm perfectly fine if they're just whatever you know so no i don't like dancing but like when i'm waiting on my food right it's in the microwave, and it's in there for, like, three minutes, and I'm just standing there. And, like, maybe, like, I got a YouTube video playing, or I'm listening to music. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just do a little jig until the time goes down, so yeah. You trust your... I don't... Mm, do I have a best friend? I mean, I guess Pi would be my best friend. But he doesn't really know anything about me, and I don't really know anything about him. It just kind of happened. It was, it was a joke. And then it just kind of got blown up. So I don't, I don't have a best friend. And again, I don't even trust myself. So I couldn't trust anyone else anyway. So, no. You remember your childhood extremely well? I don't remember what I did yesterday. Okay? I have a couple memories from when I was younger. Like the whole trying to fit in, stealing from the teacher, stealing from Walmart, um... Sitting in the back room being told that my parents weren't my real parents. I remember shit like that. But I don't remember anything else. Like, I barely remember what I did yesterday. So no, I don't. Would you rob a bank if you could get away? Fuck yes I would. Fuck yes I would. I'm tired of being in debt. I'm tired of fucking... Seeing my mom struggle to pay because I can't fucking work. Because I've got shit fucked up in my brain that can't even let me walk out the fucking house without having a breakdown. I, I'm fucking tired of it. So yeah, if I could rob a bank and I knew I could get away with it, you bet your ass I fucking would. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? I had a dream run once where I was running from, I don't know if it was the men in black or the, FI, the FBI, I almost said the FIB, um, it was men in black with sunglasses, so I'm guessing it was men in black, uh, but I don't think they were killers, I think it just did something stupid and they were trying to take me in, so no. You ever dream about falling off, that's oddly specific, sir. No, I've never dreamt about falling off a cliff. But now I'm thinking about that one Johnny Depp movie where he's a vampire. So thanks for that, I guess. You ever dream about being naked in public? No. But now I probably will now that you put that in my head. So thanks for that. Do you enjoy... Yes! I fucking love scary movies. Which is fucking ironic because I'm scared of everything. But fucking scary movies aren't scary. Like, they're fucking hilarious. Because it's so predictable what they're gonna do. Like, to advance the plot. 
They're so stupid. And I literally spend the entire fucking movie just sitting there screaming at them for being stupid. So yes, I love scary movies. I don't think I've read any scary books yet, though. Do you enjoy... Yes. Because... Uh, I know I watch dramas. I know I do. But I try to avoid the ones that are su like seriously heavy. I try to avoid them. Like, I look for comedy tags. And I look for school tags. And, like, slice of life tags. The amount of shit that I have put off watching. Because it is a heavy ass anime. Full of drama. I just, I, I don't want it. I have enough drama. I have enough bullshit to deal with. I want to watch something that feels good. That makes me laugh and makes me feel happy without questioning my own life and how terrible it is. So yes, I enjoy comedic shit. Do you know? Oh hell no. I think I would die if I was the center of attention. Do you feel like someone is always watching you? I mean, my cat's always watching me. Does that count? Let's say no. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? I have not wondered that. Although, I really did enjoy the movie Space Sweepers. They made it look cool. And Guardians of the Galaxy. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? This question makes me uncomfortable because I don't know if I have or not. But there has been times when I was younger where walking around literally feels like I'm walking around in a dream. It doesn't feel real. Is that an out-of-body experience? Like, if you're talking about something like you see on TV where you're just, like, looking down at yourself. I, I don't think I have. I don't think I want to. Have you ever punched a nun? Hmm. That's a tough one. Do video games count? No. Nope. Have I played a video game with a nun? Red Dead Redemption 2. There's a nun in the video game. No, I did not punch her because she's actually a really great character. So no, I have not. Do you like dogs? Hell no. Dogs suck. Cats are where it's at. Cat supremacy. You prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies. I love reading, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy reading. But sometimes... I don't know what it is, but sometimes I just... I love reading, I really do. I'm sorry, I'm looking at all my books stacked up on the side over there. And I feel very apologetic to them right now. I'm so sorry, I love you all so much. Thank you for being my books. Thank you for being here with me. I love you, I appreciate you. But... I prefer to watch movies because I can relate more to the characters that way and it feels more realistic to me. So do I prefer to read more? No. I'm sorry. Stop looking at me like that books. I'm sorry. Are you still wondering? I actually kind of forgot. But now that you mention it, I'm not still wondering though. I would like to know why you asked that. But I'm not still wondering because I kind of forgot about it. I moved on. Do you get starstruck easily? Um. When I first saw Yuki Yamada. I think the first thing I saw him in was High and Low. Which ironically is the same place I saw Takashi. I can't, I don't know his. Uh, Ryo I think is his real name. Um, and Bernie. Uh, Alan Shirahama. I got so starstruck when I saw them for the first time. They are gorgeous men, and they are really good actors. Um, and then there's that one bitch, um, fuck, what's his name? Uh, he plays Yamato in High and Low. And he's, like, in every single Japanese movie, like, ever. He's in GTO. Um, he's fucking everywhere. He's, like, in every single movie. And he's a really good actor. So, I'd say yes. If they're in dramas? Do you hate go- Yes. I fucking hate it. I can't take it. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? Literally the only reason to have a birthday. In my opinion. Seriously though, have you ever punched an unlike really? Just bam, right in the face. None punch! Um. No, I have not. But I would very much like to see that as an anime. Or like, as, like mentioned in an anime that would be cool uh have you ever no i have not 
Did you laugh? Yes, yes, I did. Did you say what the fuck in your head are even allowed? No, I didn't. Are you now eager to somehow get the? If hell exists, I mean, I'm already on that train. Like I'm express one way ticket to hell. So uh, <coughs> let's just go go all in, I guess. There's a hell. Do you? This game knows me. What the fuck? Yes, I am going to hell. Yes, I love fantasy. Fantasy's great. Do you masturbate frequently? No, I do not. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? I mean, it did cross my mind for like half a second. Like, is frequently like every day, every week, like every month? What is frequently? So, yes. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? A little bit, yes. Is your mouth dry? No, it's not. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? I think fucking not, sir. Dude, I, I swear to God. If past lives exist, I was a fucking sailor in a past life. Because I, I fucking cuss so much. Like, my mom gets so fucking mad at me. Especially when I say goddamn. Because she's like, I'm religious. But I, I cuss so much. It's, it's freeing. I love it. It makes me happy and feel powerful. So, no, it does not make me uncomfortable. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? Um, might get canceled over this. Controversial opinion. Uh, yeah, I do. Like, I feel like there's a lot of things in this world that we have yet to discover or understand. And I feel like there's a lot of things on this planet that were around a lot longer than humans. And have probably learned to hide themselves because humans suck and they're like waiting for the right opportunity or what so yeah I'm just I'm just gonna say yes are you poor yes yes I'm sorry I'm terrible no math is my worst subject I don't do numbers do you speak more than one language fluently I wish I did I wish I did but I'm so fucking slow and I'm so stupid I cannot retain the information like I was trying to learn Japanese right but the most I can do is pick up on really common words but I can't form them into sentences um, unless it's something like uh, arigato gozaimasu which is just like two words so um, but no I wish I did but I don't have you ever I bitch I've never even left my county uh, do you enjoy coffee coffee fucking terrible why is the video buffering internet don't you dare go out coffee's terrible and it makes me anxious i don't like it do you believe in demons i mean i face them every day do you believe in angels no which is i know people are gonna say well you can't believe in demons if you don't believe in angels bitch yes i can angels don't do shit they don't exist do you believe no you're afraid of sharks no. I actually think they're kind of cute. Do you prefer baths over showers? Uh, I prefer showers. The smell of per... I mean, if it's strong, and most of them are strong, like, I, I'm kind of sensitive to smells for some reason. So, like, walking down, like, walking through Macy's, or like walking down the fucking aisle with like the detergent and shit it's it's terrible i wouldn't say it gives me a headache though i mean it eh, it's terrible but i don't think it gives me a headache did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago no i did not but i'm also not in a room per se well i'm in a room but i'm not in my room i'm in the living room where the living are um, so no. Do you ever hear your name being called, even when you know no one is calling you? Yes! Um, I feel like everyone has experienced that at some point. I don't know if it's a, a mental thing, or if it's a, a paranormal occurrence, uh, but yes. Do things in- Dude, yes. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Uh, no? 
Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? Um, <laughs> felt my cat put their claws in my foot. Does that count? It's technically grabbing. Do you have any pets? Yes, yes, I do. Is your favorite color green? No. Are you attracted to a f no? If you won the lottery, would you share the money? I would only share it with one person. Well, I say that, but honestly, I would probably spend most of it on, like, YouTubers and, uh, people I consider friends. Like, I know buying friendship is wrong, but I would probably still do it because I'm a lonely motherfucker that doesn't know how to make friends. So I probably would. Oh, fuck, my bracelet came off. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? I mean, that sounds like a lot of red tape, a lot of responsibility, and then you can't make everyone happy, so people are going to be pissed off at you. It sounds like a lot of effort. You ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? I have wondered that. That is why I often watch um, documentaries about prisons, because I am curious about them, but I would never want to be there. Do you like fishing? This is also, it's such a simple question, but it's complicated for me. Because I don't like fishing in real life, it's boring, there's mosquitoes everywhere, and the sun just bakes your ass. I hate it. But you give me fishing in a game, and you bet your ass I will spend hours fishing there. So I'm gonna say yes. You like hunting? I do not. Do you like camping? I have never been camping, so I don't know if I like it. Um, so I'm gonna say no. Do you like guns? Uh, I mean, I don't like them, but I don't hate them. So I guess I'll say no. Are you getting tired of answering questions? No. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Uh, uh, I don't know what, what counts as kinky. I mean... I grew up on anime, so I must say yes. Eyes are the windows to the soul, do you agree? Absolutely. Do you always keep your promises? No, because I'm a terrible person that forgets shit. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? No. Are you an only child? Unfortunately not. I have three half-brothers that I don't like. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I have never been drunk, but I do not enjoy alcohol. I do not enjoy the taste of alcohol. And it mixes with my medicine, so I can't drink it anyways. But I also, I do not like the, t the taste. I do not, I've, I've known people who have gotten lost in a bottle, okay? I cannot fathom getting so piss poor drunk that you cannot control yourself. And you don't remember anything you did or said. I don't know how people can enjoy that. I do not understand it. I do not want to understand it. So, no. Do you like tattoos? Yes, I love tattoos, and I hope to one day get them. Do you enjoy being high in any form? I do not. Do you believe you have a soul? I believe everyone has a soul. Did you cry this week? Actually. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all, I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm sensitive, and I'm weak. I was writing fucking fanfic. And it wasn't even that bad. Okay? It wasn't it it wasn't even that bad. But I started crying as I wrote it. I'm a little bitch. Yes. Are you upset with someone right now? Uh Well, my mom hasn't pissed me off today, but she's also at work. Um The cats are mostly behaving. So no. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Um, I mean, I'm usually not honest with my mom because she doesn't really understand the whole mental illness thing. And she's like one of those people um, that like, hey, you gotta pull yourself out of this, champ. And it's like, uh, oh, that's a fucking pillager. Um, sorry, I got Minecraft on my screen. I was building. Um, but yeah, she's one of those people, so it's just easier to lie and say I'm okay than to actually- Oh, that one's wearing a banner on its head. 
Um, so I keep getting shit. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm pretty. I, I'm not honest. Because, like, if somebody asks if I'm okay, you can bet your ass I'm gonna say I'm fine. Even if I'm on the floor bleeding and fucking crying, I'm gonna say I'm okay. Do you understand how this works yet? Uh, no, because I'm an idiot. If you answer the questions twice, your truths might change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them. The combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? I think I understand. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon? Question you just answered. Yes. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe that? No, I would not. Because if it wasn't for Markiplier, I would not even know about this game's existence. And I probably never would because I do not play Steam games. Um, I don't like PC gaming. Um, I, I, I just, I, I'm not a PC gamer. I'm a console gamer. Um, and my PC does not have very much space. So I would not know about this game if not for Markiplier. So no, I do not believe that. Are you afraid of being abandoned? I mean, I think I was at one point. But I kind of have been. Like, I literally only have my mom. And she's rarely home because she works so much. And when she is home, she's sleeping because she works. So, I'm kind of already being... I've already been abandoned. So, no. You're afraid of dying alone. I mean... I don't know. I feel like that would be really lonely. But at the same time, I'm used to lonely. And I feel like it would be harder for my mom to watch me die than to just find out that I'm dead. I feel like it would be something that she would never be able to get out of her head. Did the stream- is the stream okay? Stream, hello? Are you working? This is an important question, come on. Fuck, I think my internet's going out. Hello, is it working? Internet! Video? You good? Things good. Um. But yeah, I would rather die alone than have my mom there knowing that she will never get that image out of her head. So, no. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? Um. I have thought about that. But I also think about many things that most people don't worry about. Because that's just part of anxiety. You worry about stupid shit that most people don't even consider. And every year, every day even, the rate of murder goes up. At the same time. I don't leave my house. So the chance of me being murdered is drastically lower than the majority of the population. So, I'm gonna say no. Are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? I wouldn't say I'm on guard, but I'm always hyper aware. Even when I'm pretending not to be. Because that's just, again, another part of my anxiety. I'm hyper aware of anyone that's around me because humans but I wouldn't say on guard waiting to fend off an attack do you feel like I know you yet I feel like you know quite a bit about me now yes though you're probably not listening to the things I'm saying it's yes or no questions but have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions I have headphones on so they're, they're really good headphones like they suck but they're good headphones so, uh, I probably wouldn't have heard it, even if- WHY?! Oh my god, stop with the live stream, please. I'm trying to fucking- It keeps going off. Why do you keep going off? Internet, please. We're almost done with the game. Internet, please. Is it my phone? Phone, are you doing this? Phone, come on. Is it the phone? It might be the phone. Let me try. 
No, I think it's the internet. Dude, come on. We're almost done with the video. Are you really gonna make me do another live stream? For this? You're gonna make this a two-part live stream. Cause you can't just chill for like five seconds. And let me finish this fucking video. Is that what we're gonna do? Is that what we're doing? Okay, I think it's working. Uh, no. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skip questions, answered honestly or dishonest. Wait, you can skip questions? That's an option? How do you skip a question? <sighs> Took loads of time to respond or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly. I've been able to tell. You didn't say anything about skipping questions. I feel cheated. I'm cal calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. You judge away, bro. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Well, aren't you just a bucket of sunshine? You're being sarcastic, aren't you? It's incredible, incredible to me just how misunderstood you are. In fact, you're so misunderstood that you often don't even understand yourself. Sometimes you just do things. You just do stuff. Why? Because you do. You don't need a reason. You just act. This is not a bad thing. As a matter of fact, this is such an amazing quirk that is so perfect to someone who might just be madly in love with you. What? Your spontaneity is a gift that can bring a smile to a miserable face and a crying heart. Do not lose this gift. I don't think I'm spontaneous, though. With all that being said, you are not where you want to be in life. You are not as happy as you lead on sometimes. And only those closest to you know how you truly really feel. Even then, they don't even truly know, do they? That's hurtfully true. Whatever you do, do not give up. Success and happiness for you is just around the corner. It's one enormous push on your part. It will take a lot of work, but you absolutely positively can make something happen. I'm getting GTO vibes right now. Like, are you Onizuka? Just understand that if you stumble, it is not the end of the world. You're always one big breakthrough from something amazing. Keep at it for yourself and those around you. Your secret word is power. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments, and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave, and we always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. That was a really good game. And for a dollar ninety nine Like it's such a simple premise, right? It's so simple, but it's why is Why is there a continue option? Uh but for such it's such a simple premise, but it's really good and it's like it's it's a lot of fun. It gets you thinking. And the fucking nun comment, though. Like, what the fuck? Oh, I just said what the fuck. Nice. So, um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I highly recommend giving this a try. It's only $1.99. And it's really fun. And you get to tell all of your deepest, darkest secrets to an NPC that doesn't even know your name. So, with that said... I'm going to end this stream. Hopefully it didn't fuck up too bad, internet. Looking at you, you jerk. Uh, thanks for watching. Go get the game. Play it for yourself. Don't forget your word of power, people. Wait, word, secret word? Your secret word, people. Who, it happens to be power. Bye.